welcome back to another video in this video i've got another part for the mark 1 tt and there's a bit of a story behind that so what happened was i was on facebook marketplace and i saw a v6 spoiler the whole thing obviously it's one piece anyway it was a hundred quid for it it needed painting so i lowballed him i went 50 quid and it, it got accepted and I was like, result, I'm on my way. Is it genuine? Yes, it's genuine. I was like, cool, I'll see you, I'll be with you, what, within an hour? So I got there and he came up to me and he had two bits in his hand and I went, mate, that is not genuine. That is just the extension. You know what I mean? I wanted the original. Anyway, so I said to him, obviously, I, I don't really want it. I want a genuine one. Um, but in the end, I ended up just giving him a tenner for it, for the extension. I said, look, you can keep the other bit. I'll just take the extension. So, here is the extension. Which I've already sort of like started prepping and stuff. Sanding it back. Getting all the old paint off really and any sort of nasties off it really. Still got a few little bits to get off it and to clean up. But let's go and have a look at it and I'll show you what it looks like on the back of the car. So that literally sort of goes on there like that. But it, it's really shabby. And I'm gonna show you. Let me just get this bit off here. Look how it fits there. That is not meant. That should be like that. But then if I bring that up there like that, then I end up with a massive gap on the back here. You can see it's like that on both sides. So I don't really know what to do with it. I don't know whether just to have a go on it or not. You know what I mean? I'm gonna replace the whole spoiler anyway. So is it worth just trying to get it fitting as well as I can and then getting it on? I don't know. I think I might just have a go, but I, I don't know really, to be honest with you. We'll see how this video pans out. One thing I did need to sort out was these boot struts. The boot was really weak and it would close if it wasn't opened like fully all the way. It just felt like there wasn't much tension there. And like I could see there was oil leaking. So I managed to get these two brand new ones. So let's whip those on. First things first, let's just unclip the top clip. Just need a flathead screwdriver for that. Then that takes the clip off there, job done. And just do the same at the bottom, remove that clip. Like so. And then with a trusty broom, it managed to support the boot while I removed the old ones. I cleaned off all the excess grease and dirt that was all around like the pivot points. Pulled the clips back on the new ones. And pop them on. That's one side done. Now let's move on to the other side, same thing again, remove the clip at the bottom, clip at the top, doesn't really matter which way you do it, and pull it off. Like that. Clean it all up. And place the new one on and push the clips back. Just a quick test. Everything's working well, job done. Now it's time to start and this interior light has been bugging me ever since I got the car. It doesn't fit properly in there and I realise there's two clips, two plastic -like little lug things that had snapped and these LED lights that seem to be very intermittent whether they work or not. So let's pull that out. Only one plug on the back, so we just pull that out as well, disconnect it like that, and the old one's out. 
got this this second hand one off eBay. It was only 19 pounds and it was in great condition. So plug that one in and it lights up perfect. Push that back in properly on the clips. And now that's all in place, so let's just test the buttons on it just to make sure everything all works. And it does. Another job off the list of things to do. Another job done. So I'm gonna try and sort the lacquer out of this and I ain't got a clue what I'm doing, so. All the professionals out there, this will probably make you cringe, but I don't know how it's gonna come out, so let's just have a go. So I just started off with a bit of water and some wet and dry 1500 grit. It's what I had, so that's what I use. Just, just key up the area and get rid of any imperfections and get us all that old sort of flaking lacquer off the mirror. After I sanded it all back, I sprayed some panel wipe on it. Just to get rid of any grease, oil, residue, anything like that. I gave it its first coat of the paint. Left it 10, 15 minutes second coat of paint left again for another 10 15 minutes third coat of paint so the rear boot things went really well that's all done and dusted nice new ones open and closing and the interior mirror thing lovely jubbly nice and sorted and it looks a lot better than what it did before and it actually fits in it doesn't look like it's going to fall out at any time and i got rid of those led light things that are in there but back onto the painting. Obviously I did put a few coats on it and it seems to be keeping reacting in a couple of spots. Check it out. So if you can see here, I've actually started sanding that back a little bit, but it's still a little bit wet, so I'm just gonna leave it. But apart from that, it's not too bad. I mean, the color, I wouldn't say is perfect, but maybe because I need to put the lac on as well. So I just wanna show you things are not perfect in YouTube and things do go wrong. So I need to try and sort this out um, sometime and I'll, I'll update you when that's done and we've sealed it, the actual finished product looks like and hopefully it won't keep on reacting. Um, if anyone could comment below why it keeps on reacting, I'm not sure. Because I did sand it back and it did look, pardon me, pretty good when I was sanding. Um, and I was using all the wet and dry and everything like that and it was looking really nice. I couldn't see why it would start reacting. Obviously, I used you know the cloth, so I'd done all the um, wiped it down with some panel wipe and stuff like that. So it's just really weird that it's just gone in those those two bits. Um, so I could suggest what you're going to do. I mean, I'm thinking about maybe using sand that back, doing a bit of high um, high filler primer stuff or or something like. I don't know. I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. But if you could comment below and tell me what you think is going to sort it out, I might have sorted it by the time this video is out, but. Let us know what you would do in a situation like this. Uh, but it's been sort of quite a productive sort of day, really. Um, so I've got the paint on there. I've done the new rear airbags for the self-leveling suspension on the back of the X5, which is good. Deleted any codes on the X5. Um, set all the positions for the air ride and done all that sort of stuff. But I left the xenons on and ignition on while I was doing stuff for like an absolute idiot and I end up with a flat battery but I managed to jump it to get it out of my mate's uh, workshop down because he's actually got a scissor lift where I've done the airbags this morning but it's currently on charge at the moment so once that's charged up I can go home so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one